I haven't actually been here in like seven years. I've tried uh, avoiding it for like a really long time. Now that I'm back, I don't really feel the, the type of way that I thought I would. I thought I would be like very upset. This used to mean something else to me. It used to mean like something really bad, but it's okay. I feel okay. I've never developed a product before and I never thought I would be an entrepreneur. I never thought I would start my own company. And there's three options now, so one is straight, one is balanced, and one is weak. So the safety industry and like personal safety have been in the same place for a really long time where everything else like cyber security, all of those have like elevated and become really, really good. but. Personal safety has like stayed like this. Yeah, I think I founded a company that specializes in manufacturing different types of uh, safety alarms, masked as jewelry. The reason to why I started the company uh, actually has to do with something a long time ago. So we're at the uh, place where I was drugged when I was 19, almost seven years ago. I, I remembered small pieces of the night. So I remembered that I was like taken to a hotel. And I remember my thoughts in my head, they were in panic, but I couldn't do anything. And then that was like nodding on and off. Uh, the only thing I remember is like the feeling I had when I woke up which was like the worst feeling I've ever felt in my life. I became so obsessed with that night uh, and my reaction was to start living really, really restricted. I also used to write notes to myself before going out, like ground rules for myself when I was out. Always have defense spray with you, even during the day. Share your location with your friends and family. Stop drinking anything at all. Ask your mom to text you every other hour if you're out. Never go home late at night. That, that's like a short version of the list. It came to a point where I couldn't do anything because like everything became dangerous. I was sitting there writing all of these different things done. Uh, I was like, okay, I got it. If I have this, I, I will be able to live my life. I looked in, in Sweden for this product that I really didn't know what it was. I just know that I, that I wanted it uh, and I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it in Sweden, Europe, US, nowhere. I just figured that I'm at a crossroad, kind of. I can either pick to keep living like this, or I can choose to try and do something about it. I started looking up statistics. I was shocked to see how incredibly common it is. During 2022, over 24,000 sexual assaults were reported. 24,000, which is insane. And that's only sexual assaults. Of those 24,000, 80 to 90% of them are never convicted. I felt something I hadn't felt in like years, a really long time. Rather than feeling devastated, I felt like a drive to do it myself. That was the first time I realized that I can't do anything else. Yeah. And at the same time, it will be used as a sensor. I had sketches of what I wanted the product to look like. And I really wanted it to look like a typical jewelry, like it had to be metal. One of the big challenges we had as a company was trying to get it as small as possible while still having it look elegant, uh, actually metallic, because transmitting a wireless signal through metal is quite difficult. First, he got me like a prototype that was kind of like big and blocky and I was like, no, we try again, we have to redo it. 
how are we going to get the components to fit on the board? What are the available manufacturing technologies? Can we injection mold the metal or cast metal this small this with these thin walls? We had to go through several iterations of the, of the product. Every component on the board is optimized for cost and energy consumption and size because we do want to get this to as many people as possible and a big component of that is price. Alarms hasn't really been in this shape or form before. Our GPS location doesn't only go out to emergency contacts but it goes out to other app users as well. You can pick if you want the alarm to be loud or silent, depending on what type of situation you're in. There's so many uh, different types of assaults that never get convicted due to the lack of evidence. So we wanted to do something about that. So that's when I came up with the recording feature. This is more for people when they order from our website, they will get this box, yeah. which I feel is more like jewelry. And then when I started making the product, I remember I like called in sick from my job. I uh, like locked myself in my apartment and I tried learning everything about like being an entrepreneur and starting a business. And I had no clue. Yeah, because a lot of uh, guys have asked for a black one. Yeah. And we did a little prototype in two weeks or something. And then I started pitching to investors. I got like, no, 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 no. I felt like I had to prove myself every time I walked in a room because I was really young at the time. Being a young woman, it's kind of like, okay, what do you know? Kind of that vibe is what I got. The main feedback I got back from these meetings was they didn't want to invest in us unless we had the hardware like ready and proven. And then I was like, how am I going to do this? So Danian found Altium and then he like did the PCB design and everything. And then I took that back to the investors and I showed them the fact that it was like working. And then we got the investment. We're gonna start selling with them this summer. So we're gonna start selling our assault alarms with them, which is cool, because it's one of the big, uh, biggest electronic stores in the Nordic countries. So that's a big milestone. To me today, this is just a place like any other, and I can look out at the water and think it's beautiful, rather than feeling anxiety and anger. I think during the years and starting this company and doing this, it's in a way I feel I feel a bit more like empowered. It's okay to heal. Take the time that you need. Yeah, I know that you're stronger than what you believe. Sissy's story was quite, of course, a very difficult time. The amazing thing is that she found a way to channel it into something positive and make a difference for others and prevent that sort of situation happening again. You deserve better, it'll get better, I promise. I promise. You didn't do anything wrong don't know what he was doing but it was a love All I know. thank you for watching altium stories if you found this story inspiring don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues Thank you for supporting us and helping us continue to share the impactful work being done by engineers around the world.